back everybody DJ Numus Max and we've got yet another multi-denomination hunt here I keep begging for boxes and they keep telling me no would have had more but a few of my stops there were I think one of them had nothing but uncirculated nickels and the other one had uncirculated quarters so uh, up here in the north except for 2019 and 2020 the 2021s, of course, there is no West Points in them. And uh, we get mostly all uncirculated Denver. So there isn't a whole lot to even look for. So I just turned those down. So I did end up getting 12 rolls of quarters, 9 rolls of nickels, 15 rolls of pennies, and 5 rolls of halves. Let me set up my tripod. We'll open these 5 rolls live just in case we get silver. Just in case. And then I'll sort through them. All right, give me a couple of seconds and I'll set up the tripod. All right, let's check, see what we get here in roll number one. Nothing there. I'm not hearing the magic thing, so. Roll number two. Nothing screaming silver or proof. Not here, no hollow coins either. So let's go ahead and grab the second hole, third hole, and let's see. Almost thought that was a proof there. Super shiny. There was. That sure. <laughs> that was a faker there. Back to back, I always hate when I get that there. Give me two seconds, let me grab my microscope, or my uh, my glass. No, nope. just an extra, extra silvery edge here. I thought maybe we had a proof. Not here, no magic line there. I'll lay these down, we'll do. Roll four. And <laughs> yet again, we get a couple back to backs. I hate when that happens. Baker. Nothing hollow. One more roll. And no silvery edges, just a super worn one there. Let me drop them real quick. Nothing sounding silver or super hollow. Let me go through these. If I find anything good, I'll show you at the end. See you soon. Couple coins to go through. Well, the half dollars are done, and I had a few that I could look for varieties on, 71D, 72, and then uh, 73D, 74D, and 70, oh wait, I, didn't, I don't think I had any 74s, but I had quite a few 77Ds. I didn't see anything. Of course, the 71, 2, and 77 are some of the hardest ones to look for, I, I think, anyways, and... If there was some, I definitely missed them. The only thing I really came up with was I got a 74P that somebody, if you look right there, counter stamped with a six. Nothing I'll keep, but I figured I'd bring you in and show you. One thing that I did find when I was moving my reject bag around was, if you look right there, we got one extra roll of nickels to go through. So we got 10 rolls of nickels. So let me clean up this mess. And we'll move on to 15 rolls of pennies. Hopefully, we get some more luck in the pennies than we did in the halves. All right. I will see you when I find my first valuable coin. Well, that didn't take long. I just got the first roll laid out here. And if you look back here, not there, not there, but right there, 
I said, when I find my first valuable coin, and this one can be super valuable if you get the DDO. First roll, and we've already got a 1955 from Philly. I'm not seeing no Dublin on it, but I'll check it under the scope. Give me a couple seconds. Well, as you can see right there, it is definitely not the DDO. You definitely see it in the 55 because there's almost two separate 1955s there. There are some minor varieties, but I am not seeing them either. And if they are, they're definitely mushroomed. All right. Let me go ahead and move on and see if we find anything else in this roll. We are on roll number four, and we got our first Canadian right here, and that is going to be a 1985. You can check that for the blunt and sharp uh, five, but that one there is looking like the blunt five, so not as valuable as the. I think they call it sharp. I'm not positive, though. And then, uh, if you're just joining me in my hunt, in, in my videos here in hunts, I save all my variety coins that it, that could have possible varieties until the end of my hunt. So at the end, I'll go through them, and if we do get any varieties, that's when I'll bring you in on those. In case you're wondering that none of these have had varieties, don't know until the end. All right, let me see if there's anything else in this roll. We're on roll number seven, and if you look right here, just got them laid out. We got a date. Looking like a 1947 Denver. And it is wheat scent number two. We are on roll number nine, and I see two in here, both Canadians. We got one here, and we got one back there. First one is a 1980 Canadian. And back here, I think this is going to be a young head. First young head I've found in a while. It is 1964, so that is definitely a young head. And there's a few varieties you can check for on these. There's a dot right there by the underneath the maple leaf and a few other things too well we got a 1964 young head i'll check it for the varieties if i got them i'll bring you in if not it's two to three right now we are on roll 14 and the stack of searchers is getting bigger and the stack of wheat scents is getting bigger too we've got wheat scent number three looks like we're tied up again Three to three, and that's a 1957 Denver. Got some gunk on it, but it's in pretty decent shape. All right, let me move on. Well, the pennies are hunted, and I checked through all those for varieties, and I didn't find anything. But I did end up with four San Francisco's, a 69S, of course, non-DDO, 70S, of course, non-DDO, a 72, and a 74. And if you're just joining me in this video, I do keep all my 68 through 74 S's. I just uh, really like the S mint mark. We did end up with three uh, wheat scents, the 55, 47, and 57, and then three Canadians. And of course, at least this time, we got a young head. So let me get these out of the way, and we'll move on to 10 rolls of nickels. We're on roll number four of the nickels, and if you look right here, we got back to back 1959s. Let's see what we got for mint marks. It's like Denver and Denver. Let me go ahead and see if we got anything else in this roll. We're on roll number five, and I just got them splayed out here. And if you look back here, we've got a 1941. First 40 of the 10 rolls, and it is from Denver. All right, let me see if I got anything else in here. Same roll, and it looks like we're gonna have a 1940 from 
Philadelphia. We're on roll number six, and if you look right here, we got our first warrant. And that is a 1986 from Canada. Definitely seen better shape, or better days. We're on roll number seven, and we got a 1957 from Denver. We're on roll number nine, and we got another nine, or I should say 1959. This time from Denver as well. And then I noticed back here, is that it right there? I do believe that is an S mint mark. And the only way you get one of those is anything pre-1960. So let's flip and see what we got. 1941S. That is cool. I can check that for the inverted S. I do, or no, I think it's got, it's either an inverted S or a large and small S. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. But we still got one roll to go. Hopefully we get something even better. We're on roll number 10, and I've got a nickel here, and I don't know if this is post-mint damage, but if you look at this thing, it's either post-mint or it was struck through something, because it's got really light lettering right there, as you can see, and then something swiped across the front. I wonder if this wasn't struck through a piece of cloth, possibly. And look at the back. Whoops. Monticello, one cents is missing. And Unum is completely wiped out. I might have to do a little research on this. I see it's got some damage, but it might be an error or it might be post mint. We'll see. Well, I wish the nickels would have been a little more exciting, but we did get a few things. We got, of course, a foreign, a, how many is there? Three from the 50s, three from the 40s, and then the one. That I showed you guys that I'm not sure if it's an error or not. So let's go ahead and move on to these 12 rolls of quarters. Well, the quarters were a complete bust, so I'm gonna save this footage, run around like a chicken with my head cut off tomorrow, and hopefully I can score another hopefully 15 rolls of everything. We'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I made it back from the bank, and well, I should say banks. And I was hoping to get more, but some of the banks have, are going from letting me pick up five rolls of each denomination down to two rolls. Some just two rolls of whatever you want or two rolls of each denomination. So I may end up switching banks here soon. But I did end up picking up 13 more rolls of quarters. Let's see, we got uh, 12, no, 11 rolls of nickels, 10 rolls of pennies. And an accidental, accidental two rolls of dimes. So, let me go ahead and jump into these two rolls of dimes and get these out of the way right away. And then we'll jump over to the pennies. If I find anything, I'll bring in. If not, we're just going to move on to the pennies. Well, as suspected, there was nothing in those dimes. There was some, some stuff I could look for DDOs, but none of them had them. And a lot of the times, dimes are so chewed up that you can't even make them out. So, let's run through these 10 rolls of cents. If you remember correctly from my last, uh, the first set of coins, we had three Canadians, three wheat cents, and a few 60s, or S cents. So, let me clear these headaches out of the way. We'll start off with some copper. See you soon. We are on roll number two. If you look right here, we got a set of back-to-backs. Nice finding one, but when you find them back to back in a row, that's always kind of cool. Let's see what we got here. First one is a nineteen fifty six D, and the second one is a Nineteen fifty fifty-one D. I'll check that for the D over S and if I got it I'll bring in. If not, we'll move on. Well, let me show you something. I'm pretty sure this is it. 
Let's see if we can zoom this thing in a little bit closer. And if you see what I'm seeing, it's pretty light in the inside, but right here, and it curls up to here. I th think, I'm pretty sure that this is, there's two of them, there's an FS, the RPM would be our over mint mark, I think is a 501 and a 502. And I do believe this is gonna be the 501. So a 1951, D over S, that is actually really cool. All right, let me move on to the rest of this roll. We're on roll three, and we're gonna get our first uh, Canadian, and it's right. Hmm, where did I just see that thing? It was pretty worn from the look of it, so it might be, there it is. And that's gonna be a 19. 79 Canadian penny number one. We are on roll seven and we got an ender. Not the kind I want to see, but we do have a 1975 Canadian. Let me crack open this roll and see what else we get. Well, it looks like we got the 75 Canadian and also a wheat scent. So we got Canadian number two, wheat scent number three, and the wheat scent is going to be a 1958 Denver. And if you look right there, the 58 is a RPM. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit closer for you. All right. So you can see the notching on the top and the notching on the bottom. I'm not sure which RPM it is. I'm not gonna take the time right now to check it, but that's pretty cool. We got another uh, RPM, or I should say another variety in these rolls. Got an RPM and an OMM. That is cool. All right, let me keep going. We're on roll eight and we're gonna get Canadian number three. So we got three Canadians, three wheats. And this one is a 1985. Roll number nine, and I just flipped it over and it is an ender that I like to find. We got a wheat scent ender. So that'll be wheat scent number four. Let me crack this open, see if we get anything else. Well, I didn't see anything that's screaming wheat, but there might be something that's facing forward. But our ender is, looks like it didn't get a crimper kiss, so it's, that's really awesome. Well, looks like maybe a little bit right there, but not too bad. And that's gonna be a 51S. Awesome. I love my estimates, so let me go ahead and get back to this hunt. This will be wheat scent number four. Well, for only 10 rolls of scents there, not too bad. We got four wheats, two with varieties on them, three Canadians, and then I got three S scents, a 69, non-DDO, 70, non-DDO, and then a 74S. So let me get these out of the way. We'll move on to these 11 rolls of nickels. We're on roll two, and we got a 58 right here from Denver. And I noticed back here towards the back, where is it? I just seen a date. Right. Hmm, where did it go? I know I just seen it. Did I bump the roll and mess it up? Right there, 1954. From Denver. <laughs> I must have flipped it wrong in my hand there. I thought we had a rotated die. All right, let me see what else is in this roll. Same roll, we got a 58, another 58, I should say. This time from Denver. And towards the back here. Looking like a 59 from Denver as well. We're on roll three, and we have our first Canadian of the rolls, and that's 1989. We're on roll 
11. And it's going to give us one more. 1954. From Denver. Well, I didn't get quite as much out of these nickel rolls. Hopefully there's something else in this roll. Compared to the last ones from the last hunt. And there was something else. A 1953. From Denver. Looks like we're going to get another one. 1957. From Denver. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. I think I only got seven from my first one. These ones all be in 50s this time, I do, if I remember right. And we got the Canadian. So, between the two, two hunts, 14 coins, pre-1960. And of course, a couple Canadians. Let me get these out of the way. We'll move on to these 13 rolls of quarters. The last quarters produce nothing. I got my fingers crossed. These are going to give us something good. Well, these quarters were pretty much the same as yesterday. I came across a couple of 76 Bicentennials, Denver's, to check for DDOs. Neither of them had it. The only thing that I found that was semi-interesting, if you look under right here, this is a 91P that has a very small rim cud right there above the C. I'll throw it under the scope so you can get a little bit better look at it. And as you can see right there by the C, it is a very small rim cut, but it is cut, a cut nonetheless. It's amazing what tiny little defects in coins can add value to them, and that's one of them right there. You can see where it broke, and uh, it's pretty small, but it still adds value to the coin. So, all in all, not the most exciting hunt in the world. Got a few Canadian cents, a Canadian nickel, four wheats, which in my book were the best because the one was the 51 D over S, and then we got that 58 D RPM. So, like always, I'm going to post to you the link right up here from my eBay page. Check it out. I got a lot of stuff on there, and I just posted a whole bunch of new stuff. So, And I'm always posting new stuff on there. And I try to keep it as reasonable as I can. So until next time, everybody, thanks for joining me in this multi-denomination hunt. Hopefully, we can start getting boxes again, and this coin shortage is over. So until next time, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. Here we go.